It's Veterans Day 2022 and we are here at Sam Houston High School where we have the very distinct pleasure of introducing Major General Patrick Brady, a Medal of Honor recipient. I can say on behalf of all of us in the Arlington ISD how incredibly proud we are that you are here at our school with our students on such an important mission. Now, Major General, tell us a little bit about your work today at the school and then we're going to talk about your background. Okay. The, uh, the beautiful thing about the medal is it doesn't make it special, but it allows us to do special things. So we are able, because of that, to develop a character development program that we've been doing for 15 or 20 years. And we take the lessons associated with the medal, valors, valor and values, into the schools across America to teach young people that they can be heroes and they don't have to go to combat to do it. Yeah, and I've heard you say on more than one occasion that you don't think you're a hero. Oh, God, no. um, Now, the good news is we get to decide <laughs> if you're a hero or not, and we believe that you are. So you flew combat missions, and you were talking to students about that today, about flying your helicopter on over 2,000 missions in Vietnam, um, and how many lives you saved. What was that? What, what were those numbers? Actually, I flew 2,500 combat missions, and I, I uh, was involved in the rescue of 5,000 soldiers. Now, having said that, I was a helicopter ambulance pilot, and there was a whole bunch of people doing the same thing I was doing, flew as many missions as I flew, and rescued as many patients as I did. When you were um, in the classrooms today, one student asked you if you were afraid when you were flying your helicopter, and you had a very good answer for that. What did you tell the students? Well, th this is one of the things we teach young people uh, about courage, sacrifice, and, and patriotism. And I believe, for me, the foundation of courage is faith. Courage is when you reach a breaking point, but you don't break. And if you're a person of faith, fear, Courage is fear that has said its prayers. And courage so is I'd, fear. That has said it. Oh, that's so yeah. good. <laughs> and courage, courage of, uh, fear is an emotion. It's an emotion. You reach a breaking point, but you don't break. Fear, uh, courage is a decision. Fear is an emotion. So a life well lived is a life of good decisions. And you definitely helped our students to see that today. Juan Villarreal is our principal here oh. at Sam Houston High School. Uh, principal Villarreal, you were in those classrooms. You were listening to Major General's <clears throat> talk with the students and hearing the questions. I have to say, we go to a lot of classrooms. And they, every we went to three history classes today, mm -hmm. and all those students were engaged. As the principal, what does it mean for you, Juan, to be able to bring this level of change into a classroom? Just bringing this type of level is phenomenal. Having someone to come into our classrooms to speak to our students about what they've gone through, the history of it, and encouraging them to just live a great life and to have good character. Uh, I could see it in the faces of students. They were listening, they respect what he had to say, and so it, it really brought a lot of joy to me to know that our students are looking up at our model citizens to become like them and create that character and integrity that he shared. So it's it's outstanding. You said that very well, uh, Principal Villarreal. The superintendent is also with us, uh, Dr. Marcelo Cavazos. Uh, Principal Villarreal talked about the fact that you know, we have upstanding citizens. That's one thing that you promote in our right. school district. Yes. You were here today. What were your takeaways? Well, it was just a blessing, a blessing in Arlington that we're able to host a Medal of Honor recipient, and more importantly, that they get to interact with our students. So uh, I was in those classrooms. The students were very engaged. You could hear a pin drop because they want to learn and they want to also be a demonstration of excellence and courage. And those things that we know are important in people's lives. Uh, and here we have an example uh, that can interact with our students. So we're just very fortunate. Looking forward to the Medal of Honor Museum uh, coming and being built to, here in Arlington and continuing this partnership because this changes lives. This interaction that we had today with our students and you 
changes lives. So I appreciate it. And Major General, when you were in the classrooms, you demonstrated some of your humor uh, that you have as well, and we really appreciate that. Um, so I want our, our audience here on Facebook to hear this story you told the kids about how you found your way into the U.S. Army. <laughs> and don't leave out any details. Well, no, it's, it's true. It's a true story. I, I went to an all-boys Catholic high school. All we did was sports. And the girls were in all girls Catholic high school. So when I came out of high school, I had an opportunity to go to several universities to play football. But I was stalking this foxy chick <laughs> who went to one of those all Catholic girls schools. And she was going to a university that did not have a football team, but it had ROTC and it was mandatory. Now what in the hell am I gonna do? I got this chick and I'm enamored of her. And I've got these scholarships, I had no money, and, and I made the right decision. I followed the foxy chip. <laughs> I ended up in ROTC, and it was mandatory. I had to go in, I didn't want it, I hated it, but I married the foxy chick, she straightened me out, and uh, it was the best thing that ever happened to me, both those things, her and the military. And uh, I think you did say the foxy chick stuck around for a year or two, right? Yes, like 62 years. <laughs> 62 years. <laughs> yeah. It's such a good story. We are just so deeply honored that yeah. you visited our students today. We could see that they were changing right, right in front of our eyes well, today. So. That's the power that's of it. your medal. And the museum that's coming up, and we selected mm. Texas because it's such a patriotic state. And it allows guys like me who love to serve our country and other veterans and teachers too to continue serving. That museum will have the stories of these veterans who believe that, that life has no meaning unless it's lived for the benefit of future generations. They will be teaching in this museum forever. God willing, it'll help change the country. Well, and I hope we uh, will be a part of that as we shape those futures. So I just want to say thank you for your service, for being here today, to everyone watching who has served in the armed forces. We just want to say thank you. Have a wonderful Veterans Day. Enjoy your celebrations, but remember, most importantly, the reason that we are talking about Veterans Day. Yeah. It's to say thank you to all of those who sacrificed. And Major yeah. General, you definitely did that. Well, thank and you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. And we thank, thank you. all of you. Go down in the comment yeah. section and Miller thank Rizzo. your favorite veteran right here on Facebook. Until we see you again, everybody stay safe and well.